Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Hearts. Yes. Welcome back to Homestead Heart, y'all. Yeah. Today, what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be banding goats. We don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. We gotta make some weatherers. We gotta weather our bucks, y'all. Yes. So that's what we are about to do. We got one over there in holding, and he's not happy because he's locked in <laughs> from everybody else. So, we're going to take care of him so he can join Mama and, wait, where is the other one? Step back back. Oh, that's him right there. Okay, yeah. We've already done banded him, so now we're going to do the last one, and we just thought we would take you along with us. Now, what we're going to be using, Mr. H has the, the little tool that we use to band, and they come with these little bands here that you put on, and I'll let Mr. H do that part. But, you all, you don't want to use a regular rubber band. You want to use the bands that are made and done specific, specifically for this type of thing, okay? Because you don't want to injure your animals. So use the proper equipment, uh, the proper tools to properly band your goats, okay? Yeah, so it opens up like this? Yeah. Slide everything through this way yeah and then you release and then you pull the tool away from it. yeah mm -hmm. that's it simple as that yep now what i have here is just some um some little Contact. rounds here that are typically used for like skin care and and you can use cotton balls but I just didn't want to open up a whole bag of cotton balls just to get out two or three cotton balls. So I only had a few rounds left. So I'm going to be using these. Some people use them to remove makeup and all of that, but I just use them for my skin. But you all, we're going to be using this, some rubbing alcohol of your choosing. And I use, we're going to use this to clean the area very, very, very well. Okay. And then I'm going to be spraying some blue coat on afterwards. Now you don't have to do this because this is a germicidal fungicidal spray, but I'm using it just as like an extra precaution, I guess, yeah. because I don't want them to get any type of infections whatsoever. So I'm just spraying over the area after we've banded it because it doesn't take long for this process to begin. Um, for the nerves and everything to start to die off and then eventually in just a few weeks Everything falls off. Yes, and so I'm just spraying this on Just as an added protection. You may not have to but that's what we've decided to do and then after um, Everything falls off we'll come back and we'll spray them with this one more time just to make sure they're good yes. Okay all right, y'all, so we're going to get the camera set up so we can show you all what we are doing next. Yeah. By the way, there's uh, Zeke over there. He's excited. Trying to get your friendly, uh, I guess, relationship with the little one right there. Now, he's, he's asserting his authority <laughs> is what he's doing. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's get to it. Okay, yes. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is put some alcohol on this pad here. And then I'm just going to clean the area real good. Just gonna clean all around real good. It's not really dirty as you can see, but I'm gonna fold that over and I'm gonna do it one more time. Cause I just wanna make sure it's nice and clean. No infection, no dirt, anything that can cause an infection in the area. All right, y'all. Now, I'm going to grab this tool. As you can see, the band is already on. It has these four little teeth right here, okay? You don't want to turn it this way and put it on. You want to have it this way so you can slide the band off of the teeth. Kind of easy. Now this is going to take a bit of a process because I have to work, I have to work his uh, testicles through that area, okay? So it's going to be a little bit of a process, but we can do it. And this is not going to hurt him, by the way. He's not going to feel this at all, okay? 
Just have to work it through just a little at a time, one side at a time. Okay, so now as you can see, I got him to, he has two little teats up here and the teats have to be above the band, okay? Not below the band, above the band, but as, as far up as possible. And now I'm gonna slowly release and then I'm gonna take the band off of one side. Okay. All right, fella. taking my time y'all as I slide this band up closer and closer to the end I'm taking my time because I don't want him to be pinched in any way okay so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking my time <laughs> Okay, almost, 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 almost. That's the first one. That's the second one. The third one. And now the fourth one. And it's off. Spray. And you can see here, pull y'all closer. You can see here. His two teats are above the band, okay? But And the band is as close to the teats as I could get them. And you can see how clean that looks, okay? And again, he's not hurting. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit of this blue coat here. I'm just gonna hit it on both sides. And I'm just making sure that he doesn't get any kind of infection, as you can see. Okay, so he's good now. And we're gonna go ahead and put him down and we're gonna show you how quickly they bounce back. And he's free. All right, let's show you the boys. All right, y'all, so as you can see, this is the one we just banded right here. And you can see, he's fine. There's his brother. We did him first about 10 minutes ago. And you can see, He's fine. He's still over here challenging Zeke, right? But he's fine. And you can see they're in no pain at all. They're still playing and still doing what they do, right? Still able to run around, bounce around, and all of that, okay? So, yeah, they are going to be just fine. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's gonna do it. As you gonna can do see, it, y'all. The boys are fine. They're still running around, playing around. We actually had to chase them back over here because they had ran on the other side. So we had to get them back over here in the camera because <laughs> it is all about them. Yeah, it's their <laughs> So. Not Zeke, it's not your thing. It's their right, day. Don't tempt me. It's but their anyway. Day. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you all, as you can see, they are both doing fine okay it's gonna be just a, a few weeks before the nerves and everything dies off and the entire sack falls okay and when that happens um, I'm gonna keep watch out for that because when it happens then I just want to make sure that we can come back out and just spray a little more blue coat around the area just to make sure we don't have any bacteria or anything like that that's going to set up in there okay and cause an infection so i know that might not be necessary but we're new to this <laughs> yes we do so we just want to be safe yes better safe than sorry, sorry. yes <laughs> so they so, seem to be fine yeah, yeah yeah the bucks are fine yeah 
Yeah, they got you good and furry. Yeah. <laughs> they got you good and furry, so. Yeah. They're doing good, y'all. Yeah. So. Yeah, he, he, he got to do something about that. <laughs> well, that's just because, you know, the, the one buck is always challenging him. Like, he always gets over there and be like, Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Which one do? <laughs> Bust a <-a> move. <laughs> <laughs> So you all, but that's gonna do it. We just wanted to show you how simple it is to weather your own goats. Yes. Because if you pay somebody to do it, it could be quite costly. Yeah. And that little tool is not that expensive. If you have little goats and you want to weather them, I'll do my best to get that in our Amazon shop so you can see um, the tool and the bands that you need to make that happen, okay? Yeah. All right, y'all. That's gonna do it. They're going back around again. They love the backside. Let me go, over there. let me go. They love running around their backside over there. But anyway, y'all, everybody done left me here. <laughs> everybody done left me here. So, okay, here they come. I hear them. There they go. There they go. Now they're running back around again. <laughs> but see, they're still running and playing. It's yeah. the thing that I wanted you all to see. They're still running and playing, and it's like they haven't even been, he bouncing and everything. It's yeah. like he hasn't, they haven't even been affected by it in the least. You know, yeah. it might be more of a, a nuisance um, or maybe a little uncomfortable than it's not painful, so, you know, so they're doing good. Yeah. So you all, that's gonna do it. We got two bucks weathered. Again, they are four months old as of yesterday. Yeah. So four months old, which what we learned was the best time to weather them. Yeah. Not too early <clears throat> and certainly not too, not any later than that. You want to do it around the four month old mark. Between three and a half months to four months old is when you want to weather your goats. Okay? Yeah. So I think we are right on the money with being one day over four months old. Yeah. So y'all, that's going to do it for this video, our goats. Um, or weathered now, we are so happy about that for yes. obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but y'all, yeah. that's gonna do it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a nice big Thumb, thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up, y'all. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. And thank you all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings, y'all. To each and every one of you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video. Yes, yes, y'all. I knew you was gonna say that. I was going to try to beat you to it, but I couldn't do it. <laughs>